there is nothing to prove. So suppose A is not equal to B. Now, what is this AB? It is an R sharp, but R sharp R sharp is R C E. So by the by the uh, theorem in the previous lectures, uh, uh, when A comma B belongs to R E, if and only if A is equal to B, R E comma B belongs to R R. There is a sequence of transitions, Z one, Z two, so on, Z n equal to B, where these Z i comma Z i plus one, they belong to R R they belong to R inverse. So this is already done. So again, ah uh, here we have then. Then there exists n such that a is equal to z1 elementary or transition z2 so on z n equal to b where these z i comma z i plus one they now belong to R C R because here the relation is R C R z i plus one belongs to R C inverse R C inverse. So this means uh, whenever they, is in, they are in R C, this means that Z i is equal to X i like this X i A i B i and Z i plus one is equal to X i plus one B i plus one. It's not comma here. It's just product Y i plus one where X i plus one Y i plus one they belong to S one and A i comma B i. They belong to R, or they belong to its inverse because R C inverse is same as R inverse C. They belong to R, or they belong to R inverse. So that means these Z uh, it's connected to Z two by elementary or transition, and Z two is connected to Z three by elementary or transition, and so on and so forth. So on and so forth. So because by definition uh, of the elementary or transition, so. A B belongs to R, or A B belongs to R inverse. So this uh, proves uh, the proposition completely. Now we try try to connect to this congruence uh, with a group. Okay. We try to connect uh, the congruence uh, with group. Okay. That's uh, that's our next result. Uh, we try to connect our congruence with a group. Okay. So congruence uh, on a group. Congruence on a group. Congruence on a group. Okay. So first proposition that we want to for groups uh, is the following. If G is a group, if G is a Group and rho comma sigma are congruences. Or con or or congruences on G. Then they commute. Rho composition sigma is same as sigma composition. Rho. This is the first proposition for groups. This is not true in semi-groups. The congruences may not commute, but in case of groups, they commute. So let's uh, first uh, we show that this uh, any pair here is also here. So we show this inclusion first. So let's uh, let's take this pair. Let a comma b belongs to rho composition sigma. Then by definition of composition, there is c belongs to G such that a comma c belongs to rho and c comma b belongs to be belongs to C comma B belongs to sigma. C comma B belongs to sigma. Now uh, I try to show that A comma B belongs to sigma composition rho. Now, now look at this. A is equal to A C inverse. Uh, A equal to not like this. Okay, we do it like this. C C inverse C C inverse C. Okay. 
and C is uh, sigma related to B. So it's C is sigma related to B. So this is sigma related to B C inverse A. B C inverse A. Because sigma is C is uh, here. C is sigma related to B. This implies C C inverse A is sigma related to B C inverse A by left by right compatible. Okay. Apply right compatibility here. Now uh, I will see this this element now. B C inverse A. It's equal to or you can say it's sigma related to what's A? A is sigma related to C. So I can write here it's B C C. Because A is sigma related to C, so by left compatibility, B C inverse A is sigma related to. Not it's not it's sigma, it's rho actually, rho related, rho related. So this is, but this one it's equal to B. It's equal to B. Okay. Uh, but I think here it's uh, sigma, not uh, uh, it's not. Uh, Rho here, here it's sigma because because uh, this is C is sigma related to B. C is sigma related. The relation is sigma here. Okay. So A is sigma related to this. Uh, so thus, thus A is sigma related to B C inverse A, and B C inverse A is rho related to B. So this means A comma B belongs to sigma composition rho because there exists this element by definition of composition so thus thus, uh, thus this one rho composition sigma is subset of sigma composition rho sigma composition rho by introducing the rules of uh, uh, sigma and rho we get uh, this sigma composition rho is subset of rho composition sigma and hence Sigma rho composition sigma is equal to sigma composition rho. That proves this proportion on groups. So uh, next proportion, which is a very very important uh, for groups, uh, because it connects the congruences and normals of groups of a group. Let G be a group. Let G be a group with identity E. With identity E. Okay. With identity E. Then first part. If N is a normal subgroup of G, if N is a normal subgroup of G, then the relation which I do not by rho n depends on the normal subgroup those pairs of G such that uh, this A B inverse belongs to N is a congruent sum G is a is a congruent sum G and second one second if rho is a if rho is a congruent sum G if uh, if rho is a congruent sum g, if rho is a congruent sum g, and one more thing is here that uh, this uh, for any g, uh, for any g, for any g g, the the, uh, the it's 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 rho n class, it's rho n class, okay. Rho n class of G is equal to the actually it's equal to uh, right coset. It's equal to right coset. So that's uh, that's already uh, done in BC course. So this is the same relation uh, on on again, generated by subgroup actually. Here the subgroup is normal subgroup. So it's the same thing. So but this part if rho is a congruent on G, uh, if rho is a congruent on G. Then, then, uh, then uh, let's uh, let's take this uh, row class of identity. Row class of identity. Row class of identity means those elements in G such that 
they are related to, they are related to E is a normal subgroup, is a is a normal subgroup of G is a normal subgroup of G so I will uh, uh, leave this proof uh, for an exercise ex as an exercise for you so you do you do this uh, it's a uh, very simple it's not too difficult you need to show that it's a sub sub G and you need to show that it's a first subgroup then normal subgroup and this is very simple it's a concurrent so it's an equivalence relation that's already done in basic course uh, now you just need to prove that it's a congruence also left as well as right congruence so then you show that this class of identity if rho is any congruence, not this congruence, it's any congruence for any congruence rho on a group G then the rho class of identity or you can say equivalence class of identity is a normal subgroup of G thank you